All right, today I'm here at the pond and um, I just wanna make a brief video on how to properly hold a catfish because catfish do have spines and this kind of intimidates some people um, just because they don't wanna get spined and, and hurt in any way. Um, so they only have three. There's one on the dorsal fin right here and then there's one on each pectoral fin on each side right here. And this catfish is probably the, like kind of the on the bigger end of catfish you would actually have to worry about being spined because once they get bigger, those spines become really dull and unless they really ram with a lot of force, they're not gonna do you much harm. But this catfish is young enough that um, it still will have um, sharp enough spines to puncture you. So when a catfish feels threatened, its spines will protrude out. So this catfish actually has its uh, pectoral fins stuck out right now. It's calming down a little bit, so its dorsal fin, you can see, went down. When it's really agitated, it'll stick up straight like this. Um, and that's just a defense mechanism that it has. But these spines bend backwards. You can see that it hinges like that, but they don't bend forward towards its head. So I like to place both my hands um, just directly below the spines, and that way I'm protected from the spine hitting me. And um, if this catfish flops around, it'll just hit into that bony part right there, and I have a really good grip right there. So the catfish, um, while it's pretty slimy and um, hard to hold in, in most areas, it's really bony right here on the back of the head. So I can get a good grip and place my fingers around those spines. Just one second, Blake. Just place my finger around those spines so that um, it doesn't have a risk of, of spining me. So some catfish, um, not this, this is a channel catfish that I have right here, but there's another variety called bullhead catfish that live here in Utah and many other places in the States as well. Um, and those fish do have a mild venom on their spines. And so you say the word venom and that kind of scares a lot of people, but it's really comparable to like a bee sting. So um, they will, once you get punctured, um, inject just a tiny bit of that venom. And it, it just like hurts really bad for usually just like maybe up to an hour. Uh, sometimes it can last longer than that, even days. But most of the time it'll only be about that long. And like I said, it's just comparable to a bee sting. So it's just kind of an irritant. It's not like it's gonna um, cause you any real harm, but it's just something to be aware of. Um, they're, they can be very sharp when the catfish are small. So like if you take a small catfish, like something like this size, um, it can just stick right into your thumb. I've, I've had it happen several times and it hurts quite bad. So um, these channel catfish though, uh, have a much more blunt spine that you don't have to worry about as much. So anyways, beautiful fish. They're really fun to catch and you just have to be aware of um, watching out for those spines.